A New Mindset by Robert G. Parent Thou shall not kill, such a simple statement that breaks up an old mindset which has been with humanity since the fall of Eden. Thou shall not kill goes against abortion, medical assistance in dying, and even capital punishment. To understand thou shall not kill, we need to understand this in a higher thoughtful way. What does it mean to kill? If you kill someone else, even in thought, what's really in your heart? Because it says in the Bible that as humanity thinks in their heart, so is humanity. So if you kill someone, do you respect yourself? Do you respect God? The Bible tells us that we are in the image of God, even though I think we're a few pixels short of seeing that image in us. If we want to follow in the path of our big brother, Jesus Christ, will we do this in killing the image of God? Also think on this, could it be the reason Jesus Christ can do what he did because he saw the good, the potential in the image of God? So now, let us see how this idea of thou shalt not kill can teach us, or what it can teach us, through the bigger issues that affect many people, and how thou shalt not kill applies to the smaller issues of the regular day. First, to not kill an abortion can teach us, even in the case of rape, how to forgive, and that God can take a very bad mistake and create much beauty with it. It would also teach us the most important lesson, which is to love as God loves. Second, to not kill in medical assistance in dying teaches us to love and to be compassionate as Jesus was when he walked with us when he was in the physical. We also learn how to heal emotionally, mentally, and physically as Jesus Christ did because he knew that he was healing a part of the image of God in this dark place. Every one of us at some point in our life here in this place has been hurt. By not killing in medical assistance and dying, we come to understand the idea of lighting a candle in a dark space. We learn how to cultivate all the good in the image of God and turn on more pixels that increase our heavenly light here in this place. Third, to not kill in capital punishment would also teach us forgiveness, which is the lesson of the cross, in my opinion. Because look at what Jesus said on the cross. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Remember what they did to Jesus Christ. Could you forgive as Jesus in this case? Since we fell in Eden, humanity became violent and arrogant. It's almost like humanity came under a spell after the fall. If we want to follow the path of Jesus Christ and fill the missing, missing pixels in the image of God within us, we need to see that image in others. Think on this. Each image of God is a pixel in the bigger picture that is the true image of God, like in a hologram, which is without dimension. When we do not kill, as the commandment of God tells us, we learn a different way of being. Our thinking changes. We even protest differently like Mahatma Gandhi or Martin Luther King Jr. Jesus Christ tells us that in God's world, we'll turn our swords into plowshares. What that means to me is the technology we create will be in a new mindset one that honors life, growth, and beauty. An example of this, in my opinion, is the amount of creative, creative people that are in today's world who see this world and humanity differently. When we do not kill, we have love in our hearts for the world, for each other, and the true creator of all. What we learn is how we'll be because the idea of thou shalt not kill changes how we think. It's like in the poem, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Once we learn something, 
it changes our mind and thus how we think. In the poem, we can never turn back and take the other path. Even though redemption, let me phrase that, but through redemption, as we're taught in the Star Wars universe and the words of Jesus Christ, we can learn to think different and another path, a new branch of the tree sprouts that leads back to the original choice. Learning is filled with detours. The mindset of killing affects our daily life through uh, uh, the mindset of killing affects our daily life even though we don't actually kill others. So even though we don't actually kill others, it still affects us. The mindset comes out in phrases like, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, survival of the fittest, which means the weak doesn't get help. We are all in it for ourselves. We also see the mindset of killing when we don't see the potential of others or even in ourselves. We also see this when we don't celebrate the successes of others or ourselves because we become jealous of the other. The law of thou shalt not kill helps change our mindset, brings us closer to love, and brings us closer to the pure image of God which is where we've been headed since the beginning, after the fall of Eden. And here's something else to ponder. We are building a better Eden, even in days like today, or times like today. So I thank you, and remember to stay creative in the magic of life.